Of course, oxygen is good, but it can also be bad. It's undeniable. We need oxygen to live. We breathe oxygen, it's required. That respiration process is key to our survival. And in fact, sometimes we go out of our way to get extra oxygen, such as a hyperbaric oxygen chamber, which has been shown, and heal other things in the body. However, there's a type of oxygen you might have heard of called reactive oxygen species, ROS, which actually has quite a deleterious effect on the body. It's a metabolic byproduct that can fuel many disease processes, even cancer. So what do we do about these reactive oxygen species? It'll probably be no surprise that diet is a big factor. So the dietary principles that also lower inflammation also help to keep reactive oxygen species in check. And in fact, certain nutrients in the diet and even some of the things that the body makes lower ROS, or reactive oxygen species. We've recently done a study on Parkinson's disease where we give people one of those nutrients called N-acetylcysteine, or NAC. This is something that the liver makes, but not in large quantities. We give people an extra amount of it. We infuse it, actually. The N-acetylcysteine is something that people can buy as an oral supplement, but where it's really powerful is if you infuse it. Now, it's available that way as a drug. For example, if somebody comes into the emergency room with acetaminophen overdose, the NAC infused actually protects you from going into liver failure. We know that NAC has a protective effect in other ways, and it's a precursor to another important thing called glutathione. And glutathione in the brain is very important for reactive oxygen species and even inflammation. We found in our study that when we gave infusions of N-acetylcysteine, NAC, to patients with Parkinson's disease, that there was a positive overall effect on the dopamine system, that's the chemical responsible for Parkinson's disease, and even overall function of the patient. So we know that keeping the wrong type of oxygen or metabolic oxygen at bay is really important, yet it's equally important to make sure that we're oxygenating enough. Good amounts of exercise, so we're breathing in oxygen. That's important and not only isn't a problem for the reactive oxygen species, it helps to lower it. So my grandfather, who I lived with, when I was in college and throughout medical school, developed Parkinson's disease. And there's really no cure for Parkinson's disease. And in fact, the medications don't reverse it in any way. They're just meant to slow the progression. So I wanted to understand this disease and see if there was anything from my field that could contribute to the understanding and even the treatment of patients with Parkinson's disease. This led me to really look at things like oxidative stress, which is part of the process. It's part of the process of many illnesses, but particularly neurodegenerative disorders like Parkinson's disease. We had a sense from previous research that glutathione could be a player, and glutathione is a precursor to N-acetylcysteine or NAC. We hypothesized that if we gave Parkinson's patients IV N-acetylcysteine or NAC, that it would more efficiently cross the blood-brain barrier than glutathione and lead to more glutathione in the brain, which would lower the oxidative stress. What we found in our preliminary studies is really exciting. We see an efficacy signal. We're now doing the larger studies to confirm our earlier findings, but what we saw was a positive effect on the dopamine system in the brain through our advanced neuroimaging, and also that many patients felt and functioned better objectively. So here's the take home. Just like all the other problems they cause, junk foods, highly processed foods, they increase the free radicals that cause oxidative stress. The foods that counter it, 
The good plant-based foods, of course, but some of the ones you might not think about, but commonly add to food, you might want to be just a little more generous with, like onions, leeks, and garlic. So remember, good food leads to good health for lots of reasons, including oxidative stress.